Salutations everyone, this is Dee Lynette here, back with video number 7, their 10 minute intervals. Uh, this is Couch Conversations with Dee Lynette in regards to mental health. Please refer back to videos 1 through 6, they're in 10 minute intervals just because my phone acts up. And it will say, did not capture if I do it longer than that. I have an SD card, but it still acts up. I'm talking in regards to a topic of... Um, a special I saw on OWN Network um, called Speak Sis. Speak Sis. It was an all African American segment uh, with a panel and everything. Um, Oprah was on the screen and they was talking raw and real about mental health and they was talking from a personal experience not just clinical so there was a psychiatrist on there and she said childhood trauma is real and a lot of, of us women and men but we're talking about women specifically we just push it to the back and there's a lot of people that said um, you're, once you're grown get over it forgive um Move on with your life. Those are terms that people use. They'd be like, um, your parents aren't perfect. Um, but what do you say to those parents that are truly abusing their children now, today? What do you say to those children right now that they're going to have to grow up living, um, reliving that trauma? What do you say to the parents that leave their kids um, in the car, a hot car? What do you say to the parents that um, they choose drugs and not they choose to do drugs and not take care of their children? What do you say to the parents that? Um, they choose their mate, not even a kid's father, they're whoever they're dating now over their children. What do you say to the parents that just curse their kids out? So, I understand all about forgiveness because I have, I have, I've been forgiven my, my parents, family, whatever, um, as a Christian. Um, but that that don't mean you for, you forget. See, there's a thing you that saying is true. You can forget, but you can't forget. So it's something that you can't forget, and it doesn't matter if you're grown. Oprah's still talking about stuff. She grown. I mean, I don't know if the word is heal, but she accepted it. Her, that was her life, but this is her life now. Look at she's Oprah. So. You do move on, but it's always here. It does. It's always here, and sometimes it's back. It's back. It's pushed back there, but then something's gonna bring it right back here, and it's called childhood trauma, PTSD. PTSD. I talked about this um, in another YouTube vlog. PTSD is no longer just for veterans. So it's like, okay, it's 2021. All of a sudden. We are into the stigma to mental health. And that's why I do my vlogs and blogs and books. Because I'm doing my part. Because I want to reach somebody. I want to reach somebody that's still, you know, going through it. And, oh yeah, I did it. That's what I did. I did a YouTube um, vlog with... Um, Kirk Franklin and carry on Kirk Franklin's son because you know that popped up back on social media so I'll, I'll, I'll talk about topics like everybody else but I'm just putting it on my spin on my, my own spin on my own platform just talking that's all I'm doing is talking about mental health and so please refer to that also please subscribe and even if you uh, go to Amazon and get my books and you could go on dealing at the author to find my books you go to D. Lynette, the author for real. That's all about my books. 
so you can go on there and I think it's pinned where you can find my books but I'm sharing my story the same way millions of other people sharing their story. The same way Oprah shared her story. The same way Yana Von Zant shared her story. The same way Maya Angelou shared her story. Just to name the most popular. But so many people are coming out with their books. Celebrities. Because they're sharing their story. This, gonna, this video I'm going to turn off for 10 minutes. I already explained why. But you're going to have to look out for the next one. But, um, and I'm doing them back to back. So, all these celebrities are talking about their past life and this and this. And that. Like, every celebrity tells you they came from meager beginnings. It could be childhood, you know, trauma themselves. And they made it big, but they still got it. It's still right here. And they they probably didn't used to talk about it like how my, my mother probably my mother did say she went through stuff but she wouldn't talk about it she just said she went through stuff but she wouldn't tell me about it, so I don't know her life um you know even back then people born in their 40s didn't talk about it and they just be like just move on you can't you really don't move on you just Put it in the in the back until it comes back to the front. You, you follow it away till it comes back. Cause I basically filed away my trauma until I was in my thirties. So, and then when I start bringing it up, I became the black sheep. Um, the let it go, um, stop causing problems. I'm like, I'm just trying to have a. I just want answers from my mother. And also from my father, but they they. They just use the words, you're grown. You're grown now. But they don't understand the trauma they cause because they can't relate. Well, my, even my mother can relate because she didn't resolve her issues from her childhood trauma. She, 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 with her own mother, my grandmother, she, um, won't have the conversation with me. And yes, my parents are still living. Thank God. Um... So, and you just want to have that conversation. You're not trying to start stuff. But my, according to my siblings, you're starting stuff. you grown. Live your life. And so that ended up meaning when I was in my late 40s, I'm living my life. But I can't be around y'all. I can't have these fake um, go visiting and, and it be fake and surface. But as soon as I open my mouth just to talk, not argue, not yell, not be bipolar, just to have a talk, I'm starting stuff. You grown. When you gonna get over it? But speak sis on on the own network affirmed to me that grown folks like me, we're still suffering, but we're suffering silently. But yes, we can still go to work. We could still raise a family. We could still have a husband. But it's still there. The trauma is still there. And it, and some people are sad. But they cover it up. Because they may have the good job. That relieves that stress. They might have a great husband. To release that their kids are the greatest. So they have things to take place. Of that childhood trauma. It's still there. And they probably talk about it in, in private. But now I'm glad that churches are talking about it. Own did a segment with African American only women. That our trauma is real. And trauma is, even though trauma is physical, it's also mental. So I'm suffering mental trauma. A mental PTSD. And PTSD means that it keeps coming back. And there's triggers. It keeps coming back. And medicine can't fix that. Maybe having that real conversation with my parents. They're still here. But you can't fix it. And they say let it go. Let it go. You really don't let stuff go. You just put it to the back of your mind. And hopefully it will stay there. But it's there. There's still sadness in you. Um, but some people get along great with their parents. And I say God bless you. You're fortunate. But then there's some people like me that it didn't happen that way. So you can't talk to that person 
about what you going through because they'd be like, they ain't never experienced that. My mom was great. My mom is great. I love my mom. Uh, I have to do another video. I'll be right back.